You know, everybody's told us for years, if you don't like the weather in Alaska, wait five minutes, it'll change. We had flown up to Alaska in the heart of winter, hoping for some epic ice fishing opportunities. Uh, right before I jumped on the Alaska Airlines flight to Anchorage, it said there'd be no rain, no snow, perfect conditions uh, for the next seven days that we were going to be up here. And sure enough, as soon as we landed, talked to Uncle Dustin at the bait shack and he told us, hey guys, get what? Right. They canceled school tomorrow in all of Anchorage, all of the Matsu Valley, everything because get ready. There's ice fog. There's an ice storm. You guys sure know how to pick the worst weather week that we've had maybe in decades up here. All right, Big Mike is on. Where is it? Why we love ice fish? There it is, a trout. Oh, snap. Ooh, Big Mike. Hey, hey. That's what we're here for. A little bigger now to be even better. Folks, that's a catchable up here in Alaska. Just running a small little, little white sock. There he is. Columbia River tube jig. You know what I did was I put a little bit of the night crawler fire gel on there and this guy Ooh, just came over coming in. He's not the biggest but look at that man he's got that tube right in his mouth. Look at that. Look at that just came in and just bam smoked it. Got him. Man, yeah, he's there. Polar. You got a little polar. Ooh. Come right out. Come right out. Not the biggest guy, but check it out. Ooh. You get him? Stick him. Stick him, baby. Stick him. Oh. Get that up. Don't feel the biggest. I don't see him yet. Oh. You know what? He's not that big. They can't be monsters. He's not the biggest. Adrian, you getting a bite? So he ran off that sled like he was getting a bite. Moving. You know what though? We're gonna put him back so he gets bigger, maybe. Yeah, so my back Go in home. there. Back in there. Go back Tell to Grandpa. your home. Tell Grandpa. Go back to your home. So I just re-upped on that one. I actually swapped out. I put squid on there. The squid fire gel right on that little tube jig. Sent it back down. Went in to swap out. Get a little wet. Uh, so I went in to swap out. Come back out. It was jig, jig, jigger. See I'm my just little... gonna ask you, what is that? That's a little glow stick. A little glow stick in there. What kind of jig is it? Uh, so this is actually a Columbia River tackle uh, little tube jig. It's made right here uh, in the Massachusetts Valley where we're fishing at today. Uh, Keith does a great job. Uh, he, he takes care of us down at the shack. And uh, look, these guys, you can just tell, I tip with a little piece of shrimp, but you can just tell these guys have been in here just annihilating this. And this with this, this Croy Customizing, it is, it's, it's a real light, fast action. You just watch the tip. Choo, choo. And these fish today, we're, we're on a changing pressure. Uh, we've been out here all morning. We, we've seen rain, we've seen snow, we've seen rain, sleet. We're back to snow now. And uh, the fish the fish are more receptive on, on just a dead stick. Put it in there, coming up about a foot off the bottom, and then just watching. And, and it's very subtle. And then come over, feel it, feel it, feel it. Stick it, fish on. <laughs> Lift him right out the water. We said it's super, super shallow. Check this out. This, this is cool. It might not be the biggest bow, but that's okay. Look at that. Hey, something new coming out from Posky. Check it out. The fire worm, actually with a fire hook. Two brand new products. This right here is probably the first rainbow trout caught here in Alaska on a fire worm on a fire hook. There we are, baby. Dinner bell. I told you. Nighttime dinner bite. And guess what this is on right here? That peach fire worm. There he is again. Oh, double. We, we doubled up. Look at that. Look at that. Oh. Peach fire worm. Got him. Conditions were terrible. We almost crashed the truck on the road several times. We saw flipped over cars everywhere. But as you know, if you know Dustin, he is determined to make it to the lake. Sure enough, we hit the hard water. And for obvious reasons, the bite was tough. The barometer was bouncing all over the place. Dustin looked at me and just laughed. He did his famous, ha, ha, ha. And guess what? He said, get ready. You're gonna see a tough bite today if we catch anything at all. We saw fish on the fish finder. 
constantly. Mm, didn't get the bites we wanted. But let me tell you something. We're complaining about catching probably 18 fish in the three hours that we were here. Uh, just not the size that we wanted, not the quality we wanted, but that's called fishing. Now, all of our fish team today on two things. He used tube jigs. Uh, basically, Columbia River Tackle is what Dustin seems to prefer. Uh, and we coated those in squid and nightcrawler fire gel. One of the things that came out of today was Dustin had never tried these two flavors, and they were turning out to be two of his favorites. It was pretty surprising at how quickly he gravitated to those smells, and so did the fish. We also used a new fireworm. Oddly enough, pink, white, chartreuse, we didn't even really use them because all they wanted was the peach. That's right, peach fireworm. Now, what today proved to be was an experiment day, a day when things didn't want to bite, and we were able to use different techniques to get them to bite. So next time there's an ice storm, you should probably stay safe and stay home like we didn't do. But if you have an easy opportunity to get to a lake, come on out there, enjoy winter time in Alaska where the bald eagles are watching you every move. Hotski products are available at sporting goods stores near you. If you can't find the specific color, size that you want, make sure to go to potski.com. And as a thank you for watching Potski Outdoors, we're going to show you a coupon code to be used for 10% off your next order.